Hello friends, in this video, I'll be talking about Elastic IPs in AWS. I'll be talking about three things uh, regarding this Elastic IPs. First one is, what is Elastic IPs? Brief introduction about Elastic IPs. The next thing that I will be talking about is how you can create Elastic IPs and associate that IP address with a specific EC2 instance. And finally, I will also be talking about the pricing of Elastic IPs. So let's get started. So if you create an EC2 instance, what happens is that you are allocated an IP address associated with that EC2 instance. But that IP address is not static. What it means is that if you restart your EC2 instance, what will happen is new IP address will be allocated to you after you restart your EC2. And that is a problem. Sometimes we want IP address to remain static and that is when the elastic IP address comes into picture. When you create an elastic IP address and associate it with EC2 instance, what happens is that even if you restart your EC2 instance, that static IP address will remain static. It means you will always get the same IP address associated with your EC2 instance. Now let us see how you can create the elastic IP address in AWS console and associate it with EC2 instance. So here you can see that I am already logged into my EC2 dashboard and you can see on the left hand side there is a in under network and security there is elastic IP section. So just click on that and you can see I have already allocated one elastic IP address. This is the elastic IP address and it has got allocation ID associated instance ID. So that elastic IP address is associated with this particular instance identified by this ID and this is the private IP address. That's it. So if you want to allocate uh, elastic IP address, just click here, allocate elastic IP address and then uh, Amazon will give you new IP address which you can link uh, with your EC2 instance. And in the actions you can see that you can associate elastic IP address, disassociate elastic IP address, update reverse DNS, so all these options are available here. And uh, that's it, it's very simple process to get elastic IP address in AWS. Now let me talk about the elastic IP addresses pricing. Elastic IP addresses are free of cost if you meet four conditions and these four conditions are that IP address should be associated with a single EC2 instance. EC2 instance should be running. Only one elastic IP address is attached to the EC2. So if you have EC2 and if the, it has got multiple uh, static addresses or elastic IP addresses associated with that instance, then it is not free. Only one IP address can be linked to the EC2 then only you will get it for free. And finally, Elastic IP address is associated with an attached network interface. So these are four conditions you have to meet, then only Elastic IP addresses will be free of cost for you. That's all in this video. If you have more questions related to AWS, let me through the comments and I will definitely try to help you. Thank you for watching.